September 6th. Faye and Co. Law Law Office. Offices. Yeah. Dun dun. It's hey, like everybody, this, welcome back. It, it, it's like the uh, it's like the Law and Order Special Victims <laughs> Unit. So we are back with Captain Tax Time to do fee to do Phoenix's taxes. Or die trying. Yeah. <laughs> more like get, more like get arrested trying. This office was filled with police officers that are all conveniently located behind me. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. Well, here's the thing: if they um, because this was a visual novel on the DS, they couldn't fit. They could only fit like one person at a time, and then later games maybe put in a second person off to the side if they were lucky. Yeah. It was usually one model in front of you, and they had to, like, rapidly switch between them. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? We're about to be best friends. Don't worry, buddy. Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? N no. Phoenix Wright. How do you respect me for, mistake me for Larry? I know, right? One's blonde and one's not. That's uh, like mistake, mistaking Godot for Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? Uh, he, he was proven innocent. <laughs> By me. <laughs> and I was on trial once. Right, you were, um... No, Just I have a question. Which one of these would you like to pick? They're all right. <laughs> I like Mr. Suede Shoes. Uh, Suede Shoes, wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. I like No, wait, that's a song, pal. <laughs> my name's Dick Gumshoe. Wait. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. A a anyway, get the name right. Okay, Rick. Let's go. And hey, don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y y yes, sir. <laughs> be, be right over. Um, <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. <sighs> he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Okay. Let's not tell him we're not the lawyer. We're gonna, we're gonna be. The I sky is blue. Blue sky. And please. so am I. <laughs> There's that hotel across the way. Mia's favorite potted plant. Wasn't I remember it had potted? this bizarre name. No one could remember. Cordeline Stricta. Wait, who said that? Wait, who who said that? Who's is someone reading his mind? Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. And I think that's missing is Mia. And I'd already looked at that. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all these. You know, because she was a really good lawyer. An old movie poster. We can't uh, make out which one it is. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I think it's called... Um... Red... Uh, the Hunt for Red October? No, no, it's not that one. <laughs> yeah, she was too busy staring at a uh, Sean Connery to like pay attention to the plot, so that's, that's why she was crying. <laughs> I'll have to check it out one of these days. I forget what movie is actually insinuated to be here. Uh, is it a Japanese movie or an American movie? I think it's an American movie. Okay. Is it Taxi Driver? No, it's got completely the wrong color scheme for Taxi Driver. Uh, about Miss Vey, uh, did you do an autopsy? Mm -hmm. Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? No, don't look at me like that, pal. That's no use. That's she no might use. have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Oh, oh, okay. Time of death was at 9 p.m. Uh, single blunt force trauma. Isn't, death was instantaneous. Isn't time of death usually like a spectrum or something? Like, okay. they can generally so, tell the general hour, but they can't tell exact time. 
So, we just got one of the most important pieces of evidence in this entire case. She died instantly. <laughs> Wait a second, how did she have time to scribble someone's name? I was like, you'll look at this and go... <laughs> oh. Hmm, okay, that's fake. <laughs> It was like, it's one of like the best piece of evidence in this entire game because it's like It gets overlooked so oh, easily. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Because we have to we have to figure out how to get rid of this piece of evidence. Cause that's pretty much the only thing connecting my uh to the case, oh, right? Also, um Also he's Richard 30. Gum is uh is 30. Nah. He's he's dick shoes. <laughs> Look at him. And Phoenix right now is 21 finishing law school. In which, when he was 18, he left art school. Meaning that he got... He, he, got he passed the bar degree. exam in two years. Wow, that's clockwork. Oh, he didn't even do his, like... I, it's not a residency, because that's a doctor's thing, but there's an equivalent for lawyers. Yeah, he skipped all that. <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, he skipped everything, took his bar exam, and completed his his four year training in in one and a half. Oh, oh Phoenix no. Wright is actually a genius, and that is the funniest part Maya's about this entire thing. Maya's dead. Maya's so dead. <laughs> it's lucky he's the main character. So uh, about Maya. Yeah, I was looking forward to the trial. I, you, <laughs> Sorry, you pal. You were or you are. <laughs> this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? Cities put out Prosecutor Edworth on the prosecution. <gasps> Edworth? Oh, it's about to get good. <laughs> we don't get to see him until the court starts. No! I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Yeah, kind of. Uh, he's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, doesn't feel remorse. He stabs him. Um, it's like, he'll like spark fear into into his, in, in, into his opponents by playing by playing the knife game right there on the table as he stares at them. Don't getting uh, don't let him snap at you or else you'll light on fire. Oh wait, that's a that's a different person who is played by the same person. <laughs> Which one is that? Is it Catherine? No, I I believe it's Miles Edgeworth at one point he breaks his leg. Like, no, gum. Miles Edgeworth at one point was voiced by the same guy as Mustang, but I can't oh. remember. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a... forget his name. Oh, I could be wrong though. I could uh, definitely be wrong. I know who it is. But they both have the same sort of energy, so they might as well be. He won't stop until he gets a guilty verdict. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him sound barely human. Well, I mean, technically. Still, I'm afraid this pretty um, pretty much the size of the case. So, Edwards is on this one. Okay, so it's, uh... I'm gonna butcher this Japanese name. Masashi Wickham. Tamaki is the Japanese VA. And Christopher Weckamp is uh, the English VA. And I can't remember. And I don't know how that. And I believe out. that's his voice actor from the fifth game, probably. Oh, he's Aizawa. Yeah, that's why a lot of people like him. He's Aizawa. <laughs> Suddenly, man, that he makes... plays a lot of characters with glasses, doesn't he? He plays a lot of characters with glasses. He plays a lot of attorneys. He played the guy who dies. He's played someone named Lucifer, but either way. <laughs> oh, that's that's a spoiler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that his name is Lucifer? Anyways. No. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age at 21. Which, 20. to become a prosecutor... Yeah. Just to remind you, Phoenix, I believe, is 22 now. And I believe that because five years passes between this moment and and uh, an Apollo of Justice, okay. they put him at twenty-seven. 
I okay. believe. But either way, like... So, Miles goes through more of a process in a shorter amount of time. So, how do we make the friend with our dear gumshoe here? Boop. Do we need to buy him food? Do we need to just be a friend in need? Uh, we let him talk. Oh. Okay. Uh, there's some rumors that. of back alley deals, forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. So you're about to be best friends with Miles Ed with with Miles Edgeworth. Begrud begrudgingly at first. But then you shall be friends. Okay, let's present him some evidence. Hmm? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I've got no info for the likes of you. Oh. Listen, I was just wondering if you know anything about this. That statue? That murder weapon? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we took that in, uh, in for sweeping evidence. How do you have it in your hands, sir? He thinks the clock has a statue, too. I sort of wish I had never seen this thing. There was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm? Oh, that? Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. Glass shards were pieces of a broken stand. I just imagine him with like a piece of glass in each hand as he's like holding it. I was like, have you seen these? You could pus probably put these back together, but I'm, but I'm no Kingsman. <laughs> I don't think the Kingsman could put them back together either. Oh, carry on then. There was this piece of paper lying next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure Mia wrote that herself? Because that's Because you just gave me evidence that said that she could. <laughs> Given the condi condition of the writing, I, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that she wrote it. Okay. Glad to know that we... Thanks for this, by the way. And don't mention it, pal. Seriously, don't When worry. it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square. It's our motto. I thought that I thought I thought it was corruption until we could see the, uh, until we could seed it out. Maybe. <laughs> now, I don't know how I feel seeing everything written up like this. It makes Mia's death seem routine. Almost like they did their jobs. <sighs> Listen, I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? Yeah, I have it. It's right here in my pocket. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Uh, tell him straight. If I tell him well, why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Some matter? Oh, no, it's just... You, you, you know, detective. Nope, I don't know anything, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. Cell phone holds all, all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. You, you, you're trying to confuse me. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. Quite the detective. Oh, uh, here, you could have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Well, okay then. Uh, guess I'll I asked all the questions. You too. You all done, pal? Uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you, I'll be heading out soon. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your loyalty ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss Hippome. But June but June a lie. Miss April May. Yeah. June July. It's not funny if I if I have to repeat it. No, that's okay. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss Mary, was it? So you always sent her home then? Haha, <laughs> you're trying to use your lawyerly tricks on me now. 
She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So I break in. So she's still at the hosp um, hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective leak information, I guess. Except he has. <laughs> you got that right, pal. Time to pay her a visit, I guess. Yeah, so now we can actually check the evidence. Okay, it's basically just the call that we saw at the beginning of this. We did a recorded conversation. Uh, okay. Let's... Okay, so we have both of those spots, but let's head back to the detention center to, uh, to present her evidence that we just got. Oh, right. <laughs> did you accidentally present the badge? No. I'm like, oh wait, yeah, I already showed that to her. I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. <sighs> Poor sis. Hmm? Better not ask her about this now. Uh, this was lying next to the chief's body. Saw that too. We've already heard this before, right? We're just rechecking everything? Yeah. Remember that receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? Any ideas why she... Absolutely none. Um... Do you trust me? I trust you. Why? Why? Oh. Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... The detective thinks I did it. Hey, I got your phone back. Oh, say... Can I listen to my sister's voice? That's a bad idea. My eyes closed as she listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Did you want to see your sister's autopsy reports? No, I just listened to her. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, we've still got some time, so... Do you think we should head to the law office to talk to the lawyer that she was talking about, or... Let's talk to the lawyer first. We're not on, like, a time constraint, are we? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Just episode length. I know, it's just like, I'm like, I wanna get this guy sorted out. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when she, she would be back. It's pretty hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, run, of an, run an office like this. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Time to snoop about. Expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Table for clients. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. I can even tell someone here's got money to burn. A painting of Indiana Jones. It's been bugging me since I stepped in stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. Is there a safe behind that thing? Eh, maybe. Who knows? I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Expensive looking mahogany uh, bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. I, I think they're trying to set up a narrative between this guy's office and Mia's office. Mayhaps. Funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Because they're just there for decoration. Small mahogany desk. The wood's been mahogany. polished. Mahogany. To a deep luster. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else. So, what? Is there any floorboards? Let's head to the hotel then. September 6th. Gateway. Ho Gate Water Hotel. Room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> 
None of this self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Checks are cats. Yes. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Is there a screwdriver sticking out of, <laughs> out of her drawer over there? Her suspicious drawer of evidence, yes. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can lick the part of the beautiful eyewitness. She's gonna lick her hands and then rub it on her face, probably. Who knows? I pity the lawyer that has to cross examine that one. Probably gonna be me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be me. <laughs> There's a screwdriver stuck into this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode there for a second. I wonder what could be inside that drawer of mysterious evidence that she's keeping tabs on. Hmm. Bottle and two glasses are on the table. Someone must be staying with her. Ooh, that's evidence. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. Because you there's... wouldn't get champagne to drink yourself unless you have a problem. It, it, it's called I have too much money and a drinking problem. There's the Fanco Law Offices, of course. Y you can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. It would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Bed. Simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching. Ah, a still scene painting. Wait, was it was it still life? Eh, whatever. One of those hang on the wall. <laughs> I love the writing of this game because sometimes it's just like, you know, I'm I'm supposed to put something here poetic, but screw it. <laughs> the flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Those are... those are roses. Yeah, those are roses. <laughs> so, she's probably gonna be upset if we try to look at that again. Uh, talk. Uh, could you just... Uh, okay, who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N no, hey, I'm, I'm just doing my job over here. I'm not into. I'm not into cat. I'm. I'm, I'm into dogs. Into I'm sorry. Cat. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> T, you know you're cute. You know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Mostly because she's got like eight of her buttons like undone. She's just like sitting there. Uh, right? Could you uh? And tell me what it is you do, exactly? Well... No! <laughs> and you... And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. I uh, see there are two glasses on the table. Someone's staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like, on television. Oh, no, 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 not me. I am, uh... Just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May does and like nosy, li nosy little lawyers, hmm. Oh boy. Because legally, because he's not an actual police officer, she doesn't have to tell him anything. She has the right to remain silent to people who aren't police officers, yes? With a war- with a warrant. Yes. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe. Incident. You sound like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with big vocabulary. Or with big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. You, uh... She might turn into an actual cat, and that would be awful to, to, have, to have to describe to Gumshoe. You, uh, you know what happened that other day? The, the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty, please? Let me 
see. Hmm, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness, you understand. Is there any way to get into that or it's bothering me? Uh, probably. Who knows? How, how could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. Just like in the movies. Are we gonna show her all this evidence? It's uh, yeah. You know she has nothing when the item does not pop up. Uh... No, okay. So, she's a dead end. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is still out. Uh... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that isn't the most over-the-top clearing of the... Of the throat I've ever heard. I could do more over the top if you want. Aha! So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes. That, that's me. It looks even grander than I imagined. Mm, that badge on your collar. Yeah, so you can actually see on his lapel. That's about the size of our badge. Okay. So it's not like this massive like medallion that he's like holding up to try I to want... summon an uh to summon a, a god or something. It's just like but a little pin. Can't it be though? Can't Man, it? Man, I wish he held it up and basically went, "I summon you, God of Justice." And then from from the from the heavens comes down Nancy Grace. That's her name, right? Drew. Nancy. No. Nancy we... Drew, the, the, uh, the young female detective. No, not her. I wasn't meaning her. Then are you talking about Judge Judy? Yes. Thank you. How did I forget that name? I, I don't think you're even close. <laughs> I wasn't even close. So you're a lawyer, are you? Uh, yes. Well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? And how could, how could no one get in touch with you? Well, dear sir, I was drinking. <laughs> Is something the matter? You came to see the one and only Martin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Uh, out with it. Out, hot, out with it. Out with it, Mr. Uh, um, yeah, uh, actually it's about Maya Faye. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. That was a strange reaction. Uh, yeah, uh, really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's no, no, just no, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How'd you know the trial was tomorrow? Well, you see, I've been bribed. Uh, uh, anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me I to represent our sorry end of discussion. You refused me before I even got a chance to ask you. Why don't I tell Maya? How can you refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Uh, well, uh, um, um, you see, it's just I'm busy, you see. But the client's Mia Faye's sister. Um, hmm, uh, hmm. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However... I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Probably mm -hmm. still gonna Think ask not. you questions, though. Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. So drop it. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why is that? I... I cannot say. Hmm. 
I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now. I've nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How exactly did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion, never looked back that one. That's quite the painting you got there. Ha ha ha, you noticed. It's my pride and joy oppressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. I'm a big one piece man. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. I'm not buying, jeez. <laughs> Fine, let's just present him some evidence and see what comes up. Very sorry, but I have nothing to say regarding this matter. Okay, so he doesn't have anything either, and we've examined everything. Yep, not even the painting updated. Okay, so next time we're gonna head back to Maya, give her the bad news, and I guess we're gonna be the full time lawyer, I guess. Who knows? Uh, see you guys next time. See ya, bye. Bye.